زموږ یو ډیر شمیر لیدونکو زموږ څخه پښتنې کړې دي چې ولې د آریانا تلویزیون په تیره هفته کې تکرار پروګرام وړاندې کړی دی تاسو اوس غواړئ چې په دې حقله یو څه معلومات وړاندې کړئ چرا نه در هفته گذشته نسبت مشکل تخنیکی برنامه تکراری به نشر رسیده بود که از بینیدای عزیز ما که منتظر برنامه جدید بودند مذرت می خواهیم او مشکل لرو چیز مجلی دون که از مش مذرت ومنی اوس را زید چی در افغانستان و پیجنو پروگرام پا گرد سر ومینو Bindagona Aziz, thank you for joining me on another week of Discovering Afghanistan. We're going to put aside a week of provinces and get through the cultural aspect of Afghanistan. My Ramadan, or Ramadan, is a very special month for over 1 billion Muslims around the world and the Muslim nation of Afghanistan. It is a time for self-reflection, devotion to God, and self-control. But why do we follow the month of Ramadan? What is the point? Some of the Afghan and non-Afghan youths may have a strong misconception of the month of Ramadan. The misconception that it's just a month of fasting, it's just a month of not eating. But it is far deeper than that. Fasting is only one part of Ramadan. Ramazan is one of five pillars of Islam. The first pillar of Islam is faith. There is no God worthy of worship except God, or as we call it in our language, Khuda, and Muhammad his messenger, peace be upon him. The second pillar of Islam is prayer. Salat, or as we call it in our language, Namaz, is the name of the prayers which are performed five times a day and are a direct link between the worshiper and God. The third pillar of Islam is fasting. In the month of Ramadan, all Muslims fast from first light until sundown, abstaining from food or drink. The fourth pillar of Islam is zakat, the necessity for all Muslims to give charity. And the fifth pillar of Islam is pilgrimage, or hajj, the annual pilgrimage to, Me to Mecca the Hajj is an obligation for only those who are physically and financially able to perform it. Fasting and the month of Ramadan started when Islam was presented to its followers by God and through his prophet and messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him. A day in the life of a Muslim in a month of Ramadan includes praying five times, reading the Quran, giving charity and of course fasting. Fasting serves many purposes. While a Muslim is hungry and thirsty, they are reminded of the suffering of the poor. And in this most sacred month, fasting helps Muslims feel at peace that comes from the spiritual devotion as well as kinship with fellow believers and mankind. During this month, we are encouraged to minimize and stop all of our unpleasant and bad habits and continue our resolution on even after Ramadan. A day of fasting can be easily destroyed or broken by one of the following. The telling of a lie, slander, gossiping, a false oath, greed, eating or drinking deliberately, or not praying. 
These are all considered offensive at all times, but most offensive during the fast of Ramadan. We are also reminded as usual to respect elders, peers and siblings, and especially respect and appreciate those who have raised and cared for us upon born, our parents. Most importantly, it is a month of prayer, prayer and having better, closer connection with God. I hope this show gave a little better of an understanding to our youth regarding the month of Ramadan. UBC, SFU, and all colleges in their lower mainland have provided rooms for the Muslim students all day for prayer. For more information, please contact your students' Muslim association. We also encourage elementary and high school students to contact their student council and ask them to provide a prayer room for the month of Ramadan. Ruzawa, namaz Shama, Kabul Thank you and God bless.